What's up guys, Night Goal here with another exciting video for you all this week. Last week you may have seen the top 5 worst things in Half-Life Alex. If not, that video will be linked right here in the description below. This week, I just wanted to share with you all the greatest things about the game. Now, before we jump in today, I just want to say thank you all so much for all the love and support you all have given me. This journey is only the start and it has been so amazing, so thanks for that. Here is to hitting 400 very soon. Please, if you are new here, come check out the other content on the channel, leave a like, and subscribe. I love anything with VR and making videos to show off how great it is. Now let's jump in. So for starters, the story. So without giving too much detail on what Half-Life Alex is actually about, I just want to say how great the story actually is. It is so in-depth as far as detailing. The characters you meet in the game actually have presence, as well as even the enemies within the game. The story in Half-Life Alex will literally suck you in. I usually find myself hopping off after a few hours of gameplay, just to want to hop back in to tune into what is going to happen next in the story. It is literally addicting. If you love games simply for the story, then this game is for you 10 out of 10. Now that brings us to number two, graphics and detail. Half-Life Alex has hands down the greatest graphics I have seen in any VR game. The clarity of scenery in the background really makes you want to just explore and literally take everything all in. Not only did they do an amazing job on the background scenery, but the textures on items is nuts. For example, when I look at this piece of paper on the wall from inside of my headset, I can literally go through and read every word on it. Looking at objects up close doesn't distort the view of them at all. It literally lets you examine them from a whole new perspective within your VR headset. Now for number three, setting the tone and making everything intense. Ever feel so sucked into a video game that you start to feel like something is actually in your room? Like it's with you, about to get you? The game does a great job of doing just that. The fights against zombies really pull you in. I have jumped countless times in fights with headcrabs. Oh shit! Is it dead? That is another compliment I have to give Half-Life Alex. Even though the game has some jump scares, it doesn't rely on them to scare you. They really just have a great roundabout way of throwing all these different things in the game at you at once that build up to a really great tone. Between the music, scenery, little noises, and even sound effects, it all mixes in so well to build into something so great. Valve, I gotta say, with the flashlight and immersion, you guys definitely Got it down. Look at them shadows, golly. Now for number four, the game has so much playtime. For being a linear single player story game, it has a great length and certainly is one of the longest story driven VR games I have experienced. This game really is a triple A title and offers a little bit of everything into one solid package. While I still agree it is lacking some features that other VR games usually have, it really does a great job of combining a little bit of everything into a single game. I fully support the price point because of this. Others say that it is a VR demo, but I can't agree with that term simply because this game is really complete. The last thing which I want to include in this video is of course, the gravity gloves. Who doesn't love the old gravity gun from the original Half-Life games? With the simple flick of my hand, I can bring virtually any object to my hands and put it to use. I couldn't think of a better way to implement something like this into a VR Half-Life game. They took an original concept meant for 2D gaming and made it fit so amazingly for virtual reality. These gloves are such a useful tool all throughout the game and serve not just for one purpose, but for many. Oh, you have been known. Get in the gnome hole, boy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. What was something you liked in Half-Life Alex? If you haven't played the game yet, is there anything you would like to ask me about it? Please leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to answer any questions for you guys. Thanks again for watching the video. See you all again next week.
Don't come near me. I've got a roll of tape. I think he might win. Okay, okay, I'm putting the tape down. I'm putting the tape down. Chill. I put the tape down. Yes, I know I have this gun. <laughs> Joke's on you, bitch! Joke's on. I think he's dead. <laughs>